as I mentioned in the Tunisian crochet, Tunisian crochet, the half double crochet last night, I was able to locate two different half double crochet versions and I just did one of them. But I'm going to do another one because I had someone ask for another one. Now I can't get caught up with doing every single version because seriously that this is the way Tunisian crochet is. There you can just do something a lot of different ways. So I'm going to start off with 10 chains. I'm going to skip the first one. I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook and pull up a loop. Now leave it there. As you can see this is going to cause about double the number of loops on your hook so the standard rule does not apply in this case of being able to use a hook one-third the size of your project. You're going to have to compensate for the almost double and I say almost double because it's one less than double. So I've got 10 and I'm going to add 9 so 19 total loops I'm going to have here on my hook. So I am just going to show you a different method of doing this stitch. And I'm doing this for the first time. So I will just see how it works out. So instead of yarning over and pulling through two like we did last night, I'm just going to yarn over and pull through one like normal. Now unlike normal I am going to pull through three all the way across. Remember to count the, the chain that's on your hook as the first one. So one, two, three. And here I start sounding like an exercise video. One, two, three. 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 And one, two, three. All right, now we've gone all the way across. Remember, we're doing 19 loops. Now, in Instead of skipping just the first vertical bar the way you do normally, go ahead and skip that vertical bar as well. That diagonal yarn over that's sitting there, skip that as well. Yarn over. Insert under two as for simple stitch, but you're going under two instead of one. Pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now I can tell already this is not as dense of a fabric as the other one. The other one would have been so awesome for bags or pot holders. Anything that would require something a little more sturdy and I can tell already that this is, is has more give. Through two and through two all right, and then the last one we're going to go under that one, pulling through those two side bars. All right, now remember what we're doing here. This one is not through two, it's through one. And then go all the way through. One, two, three. Oh, wait. I know I did something wrong. Come back over here. Okay. You see what I did wrong there? Do you see? I forgot to yarn over. Yarn over. This is what happens when you don't practice first. Okay, now we will do a chain one like normal. And then three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. All of the way across. And this is just a variation. You may like it better. Just like 
any other thing in Tunisian, you can, there's so many different ways to do things and nothing is ever really wrong. It's all just a matter of whether or not you like the fabric. If you like the fabric, you can keep the fabric. Okay, let's see. Now, again, skip that one and skip that one. Yarn over. See, this is a little different than what you normally have. Normally you skip one through two. And through two. You see, I don't know if you can't really this is definitely a lot more drapey, so this would be great for any other applications, scarves, but it's still dense and it's still, it's going to be warm, I would imagine, because it's got double loops there throughout. Yarn over, don't forget that yarn over over there. Go under two, and I'm going to have to keep doing this because I just want to make sure that we have it go through one, now go through three. I want to make sure that we have this before I close out the video. Three. And again, this is the Tunisian half double. It's just another variation. I know I did one last night. and if I did mention that there was more than one, so I should have known that someone would ask what are one of the others. And there you go. That is a lot more drapier than the other one. So I, I like that. That's very nice. I like the other one too. It's just, you know, different stitch, different look. And there you have it. Enjoy.